Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is laundry day, so I am in my big fluffy robe doing my skincare routine, and as all of that was going down, my Nightworms package showed up. I know in my last video I said that my next video was going to be my We Sold Our Souls review. That will be next. Um, I didn't think this package was going to come until um, like a day or two later than it did. But it showed up early and I'm very, very excited. So I want to open this and get this up for you guys. And then I will go back to doing my review. Um, and then my unplugged box should be here really soon too. Um, so hopefully I will get that up as well. Um, and yeah, so very, very excited. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's chat about some Nightworms. If you guys have never seen Nightworms or any of my unboxing videos, Nightworms is my favorite subscription box. It is a monthly horror book subscription box. You usually get two, sometimes three books every single month. Sometimes you'll get like an exclusive, um, like short story collection or short story magazine, um, deluxe reprintings, brand new editions, signed editions, a lot of fun stuff in here, primarily all horror, gothic, thriller, all that jazz, um, along with like some stickers and bookmarks, maybe like uh, a drink or two. Um, and I adore this book. I really, 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 I adore this box. I really do. Um, it retails for $39.99 every single month, which to me comes out to like $47 and change, I want to say. Um, I always have it linked down below if you're interested, along with a link to get the box. Uh, if you aren't interested in doing the subscription, you can also just do the um, like one-time box on their Instagram. They will have all their info on how to get every monthly box. I believe they're doing the December boxes right now. Um, though by the time this video goes up, those might be done. So definitely check to see if you're interested in getting their January boxes. But uh, let's open this up and see what we have. I know I saw the spoilers for it when they first announced it. I didn't know what the books were, um, so I didn't really pay too, too close attention to them because I usually just look at the spoilers to make sure that they don't have a book um, that I'm planning on ordering anyhow. Okay, so right off the bat, I see two books in here and a goodie bag. So let's pull out the goodie bag first. Oh, and it has a little Nightworm sticker this time. Their stickers usually match the themes of the book. All right, so first up is our theme and we get our little exclusive bookmark that we get every single month with the theme on it and it says everything's magic November 2022 now this is interesting this might be the first bookmark I've gotten from them where the image is the same on both sides uh, not that that matters it's just interesting to me um, we then get vegan healthy hot cocoa from uh, retreat drinks I've had this before this hot chocolate is amazing like truly truly amazing it is so so good um, and it just seems to be regular hot chocolate Sometimes they do flavors and stuff, but this seems to just be regular, but I do adore this hot chocolate. Um, we get an Everything's Magic Nightworms 2022 magnet. Y'all, it's a magnet. I love when they send me magnets. I usually take the stickers that they send me and turn them into magnets. So when I don't have to do it because it's already a magnet, it's even better. Um, we get a little instruction thing on how to make our hot chocolate and just a little um, more info about it. Ooh, we get a sticker with um, what looks like the Princess Mononoke wolf in a bottle. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but it's very cool. It's very strange. Let's see. We get a teeny tiny little book plate here. Um, a much larger book plate. This is about the typical size of a book plate. And then we get this itty bitty one that's really cute um, and really weird. I've never seen a tiny, tiny book plate like that before. We get our little spoiler card right here, which I'll go through in a bit. And then we get a little card with a QR code for a book. I'm assuming this is either a book that has been included in here or it's an ad for an upcoming release. So let's go with the teeny one first. Oh, I've heard of this. Okay. Ooh, okay. Love this cover right off the bat. I love this cover. And this is Root Work by Tracy Cross. And it says, The year is 1889. Set in a small Louisiana parish deep in the segregated South, Root Work follows school-age sisters Betty, Ann, and Pee Wee during one life-changing summer when the three of them head off to stay with their hoodoo-practicing aunt, Theodora. 
A powerful woman feared by the local townspeople, she teaches the girls the secrets of her craft, like how to make hot foot powder and how to whip up some goofer dust to get back at an enemy. The girls delight in their harmless hoodoo adventures until a tragic event involving the town's racist sheriff promises to change their lives forever. A story of love and redemption, Rootwork explores the strength of family and the darker side of the heart. Ooh! This is so fun. I love this cover. I love Southern, like, gothic horror. I'm really excited to read this. This sounds so awesome. And I have heard of this before. I'm not sure if it was either through, like, maybe the Tor Nightfire release. Um, and I've definitely seen this cover. And I definitely, like, heard of it before. I think I realized I was getting it in my Nightworms package. But, oh, I love this cover. <gasps> oh, I'm really excited. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, um, one of my, like, oldest subscribers on this channel actually recommended that I read this book. Um, this is the same author who wrote Cackle, and I only know that because of my subscriber. Um, thank you so much. I don't want to say your name because I don't want to, like, I don't know if you want me to say your name, but ah, you just told me to read this in one of my comments, and here it is. So Such Sharp Teeth, a werewolf novel by Rachel Harrison, author of Cackle, which in my last video I said I am ordering soon. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> So it says, Rory Morris isn't thrilled to be moving back to her hometown, even if it's only temporary. There are bad memories there, but her twin sister Scarlett is pregnant, estranged from the baby's father, and needs support. So Rory returns to the place she thought she put in her rear view. After a night out at a bar where she runs into Ian, an, almost, an old almost flame, she hits a large animal with her car, and when she gets out to investigate, she's attacked. Rory survives miraculously, but life begins to look and feel different. She's unnaturally strong, with an aversion to silver, and suddenly the moon has her in its thrall. She's changing into someone else, something else, maybe even a monster. But does that mean she's putting those close to her in danger? Or is embracing the wildness inside her the key to acceptance? This dark comedic love story is a brilliant layered portrait of trauma, rage, and vulnerability. I'm so excited! I didn't even realize that this was this book. Um, I'm stoked. I'm so stoked on both of these. Oh. God, I love Nightworms. Nightworms just every time. Next month's theme is Krumpus, um, and we will be getting a Krumpus book. Um, I don't know anything really beyond that. I haven't really looked into it, but I am so thrilled to get that. Oh, this has been awesome. Okay, so let's go through the spoiler card. So we get Such Sharp Teeth, um, Root Work, Werewolf Sticker. Oh, it's a werewolf. This looks like the Princess Mononoke wolves. Um, <laughs> we get the Witchy Magnet, um, Everything's Magic Bookmark, and the Retreat Hot Chocolate. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, and then on the back it says, um, My Dark Library, Cemetery Gates Media. Da, da, da. Oh, I didn't realize there were more My Dark Library books coming out. For some reason I thought we were just going to get those in Nightworms. But it looks like um, after Stargazers, there have been two other books released in that ser four other books released in that series, um, and this book is part of the Dark Matter books as well, which I believe um, the Nightworms team is a part of. It's all very confusing. But ah, I'm so excited. Stargazers. If you guys haven't read Stargazers by L.P. Hernandez, I highly, highly, highly suggest it. It was one of my favorite reads of the year. And as I said in my last video, I've had very few good reads. Um, but I thought Stargazers was absolutely incredible. Ah, I am so stoked to read both of these books. I know I said in my last video I'm in like such a reading slump, so I really hope that these books click for me. Um, I'll probably read this book first just because it's short. Um, but I am stoked. I am so happy. Um... And then I can't wait to see what my Unplugged box has this month, as well as my Twisted Retreat. I've actually surprisingly been reading more and more Unplugged books recently, um, just because they've been taking more of a darker tone, obviously because it's been like the spooky months of the year. Um, and uh, every now and then, <laughs> um, Unplugged really, really knocks it out of the park with like a solid horror book. Uh, which is so strange, and I don't know if that is going to happen as continuously now that they have Twisted Retreat, which is going to be all horror, but I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. Oh, this, this just, like, I'm so relieved because I have just been in a place where I'm just like, I really don't know what to read right now. It's just been like, 
this massive reading slump and I'm just so excited for both of these books and I wasn't expecting it to be um so yay love when that happens anyways um thank you guys so much for watching as always I'm trying to post two videos a week um aiming to do Mondays and Thursdays and obviously sometimes Saturdays if I feel that I can fit in a third video um hoping to get back on track as I said in my last update video very very soon um and if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Mwah.